So today I want to cut um, a cow neck, a cow neck, okay? So it's like a draping neck dress. You can wear this for office, to the office as a formal wear. You can wear it for parties, for cock, any, any kind of occasion. And that's why I like it because it's very versatile. So to make this cow neck dress, you need three meters of soft draping fabric because it's a drip neck dress so if you don't get fabric that is fluid soft that drips well you will not get the effect you can't use cotton you can't use damask anything stiff won't work so what i'm using to cut this dress is um jersey fabric you could use lycra you could use silk okay you can use chiffon so as long as it's soft and drapes well you can use that to cut your cow neck dress so this is going to be exciting because you can wear this dress in two ways so i'm going to make it in a way that i can decide to add the eye neck in front the cowl at the back or have the cowl in front and the eye neck at the back that's what i love about making your own dress so welcome to style with ufoma um if you've not subscribed to my channel you may want to do that <laughs> because you don't want to miss my videos as they drop and you want to do well to turn on your notification bell as well so it's just the bell notification beneath this video so when you subscribe you turn that on so anytime i post a video youtube is going to definitely notify you so you've been wondering what i'm doing now i'm folding my fabric okay on the table so what i've done is already cut the length of the dress my cow neck dress so i want my dress to be like a midi dress midis our midi dresses are very in now so for the cow neck dress i'm going to cut the back piece or the simple straightforward piece first before cutting the part that has the cow or the drip neck so i want a 48 with the rest so i'm cutting 50 my folding and whatever goes on there the two extra inches will be perfect so i'm going to get the neckline so i'm going to use 16 inches for my neck because it's jersey so it stretches so you don't really need to worry too much about the shoulder being snug right so i'm going to do 16 inches for the width i'm going to do my um, I'm all so I'm going to do eight inches or eight and a half like so Okay Then for the waist from the top, I'm going to measure 16 Then from the waist to get my hip, I'm going to measure eight inches so on the hip normally you go a size down because it's stretch fabric if it's not stretch you stay as a at as your measurement is if you are not going to be adding if not you use a stretch fabric and if you don't want to use a zip then you want to add extra half an inch so normally my hip would have been 44 so i'm going to make it a bit smaller so i'm going to make it 42 so it can be snug at the hip now for the waist i'm going to make it 30 two because the stretch fabric and for the bust i'm going to make it 38 okay so what you want to do is connect this okay to this but if you don't want it to snug by all means you can add extra okay to re so you may decide to make yours an a line or straight but mine is going to be straight so from the hip i'm going to take away eight inches if my hip is 43 so the bottom i'm going to make 35 or 34 so it depends on how snug you want it so once i've done that i'm going to connect the base to the hip so then you see i have the shape of my dress so to this you want to do well to add a little bit of sewing allowance right so get my scissors and i'm just going to cut the armhole okay then adding 
about an inch. You have the shape of the dress so make sure the it is not too pointy because it's stretched so you don't need too much um you don't want it too curvy or pointy there all right so now i want to get my neckline so i'm going to make the neckline a bit wide i want it to be like a kino so i'm going to leave three inches there okay three inches from the shoulder to that point and I'm going to bring this down about um, I could do two inches or three two and a half it depends on you since I want to be able to wear it either way so I'm going to do two and a half okay so now I'm going to cut that and do the shoulder slope okay so you have your dress the back piece so now i'm going to do the front bit okay so i'm going to get my fabric already folded so i'm cutting two dresses at the same time so you don't want to worry that I have it folded in four okay so yeah so if you notice this the way I folded it to cut I have extra fold this way because the cow neck needs to be like doubled and that's why I'm doing this so the 48 I added 11 inches like you can see or oh, nine inches there so this stays this way because of the cow neck so you just fold over so there'll be no opening at the top so what i'm going to do is you see from this point to this point you have 39 inches if i use all it may be too low so i could very well reduce this to about 36 inches okay 36 centimeters sorry not inches and that gives us about 14 inches so 14 inches you can use either centimeter or inches it's allowed if you want it to be more precise you go with centimeters right so I'm going to cut that off this So now from this bit to this bit that's where the shoulder will be not on the top like you do for your normal dress but by the side so i'm going to measure from this point to this point i'm going to do three inches that corresponds to what we have at the back the width for the shoulder then from this bit to this bit i'm going to create the armhole so i'm going to do eight inches as well so from here to here you don't start your shoulder at the top so I'm going to measure this, okay, I want about 2 inches depth to create the armhole. So that's for the armhole. So the armhole goes to the side in a cow dress, cow neck dress. So I'm just going to cut that way. That's my armhole. Yeah, so that's the armhole. So now we can go ahead and place, I can take the front bit that I did earlier, okay, for the side, for the shaping of the side. So I'm going to move this like so, okay, you see that sounds as the arm all. Then another tricky bit is the bottom, the base. The base of your dress is not going to be the same. It has to be narrow, just like this. So I'm going to place this. I don't know if you can see that. So the base has to be same thing. 
I'm going to move this up a little so you can see yeah so the base has to be the same so I'm going to shape the base using the back piece Because the top is going to be wider so I'm just going to place that and as I get almost to the top bit then I'm going to go all out towards the um, hole okay. you see I'm going the same way like the back piece and now we're getting close to the top so now as we get close closer to the top I'm just going to go out there like so towards the armhole okay so now we're going to go to sewing so when you want to start sewing what you're going to do is this bit here now goes to the shoulder bit you hold those two together then you first pipe the neckline then you stitch the side so I'm going to keep this to get, keep this aside and cut the sleeve and the, um, I'm going to also cut the facing for the neck. So you can cut whatever sleeve you desire. So I'm just going to, so if you notice, I was able to use three years to cut two dresses, three meters, sorry, of my stretch fabric. So if you want if you're thinking of starting a fashion business, you want to use mostly stretch fabric, lycra fabric. They are very economical. Yeah, so I need to get my chalk. I must have fallen somewhere, it always happens. So yeah, I found it. So for the sleeve length, I'm just going to make a, a three quarter. So, yeah about 18 inches i'm going to complete that with the band so i just want to trim the top of my fabric like so now to measure the width i'm going to start from the top here so about six inches and i'm going to get my width which is 13 inches and the base here i'm going to make 12 inches or 11. It depends on how snug you want it to be and this like i said is stretch so you cut a dress size smaller if you want it to really be snug yep so that's my sleeve so if you don't know how to cut a sleeve you can watch my video how to cut the perfect shirt sleeve so to the base of this i can decide to either fold it or add a band, it depends on you. So you do what works for you. When you add the band, it hides all the imperfections. So yeah, there we have it. Now for the facing of the back piece, you want to pick one of the pieces left from your cutting. And all you need to do is just fold like that. So I'm going to get the back piece And I'm just going to fold into, place over the piece on the table and just trace the same neckline. It's very easy, very straightforward. Okay, so. have it so that's your facing so what you want to do you only need to face do the facing for the back so you just put right side to right side and you stitch okay and it covers that bit and you add the front to it I just leave for the bottom the dress is good to go so if you've enjoyed the video do not forget to give me a thumbs up like my videos um, subscribe so you can keep seeing more videos hopefully this year 2023 from me so it's like come your way next time. It's bye for me.